drinking there? Your mom. <laughs> oh, it's way too dark to be my mother. She's oh, really no, white. No. <laughs> Back to our stupid ranks as he did some Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, more content, and content. Get so juicy. Paper, photos, juicy. Camera, mobile, photos, and games. Go on. Bye. <laughs> follow us on our personal YouTube channels. Links right down there. Bang, 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 Just bang. like on a golf course. The links. <laughs> Link? That's the first thing you think of is golf course and links? Sausages. I think of uh, Zelda. Link is the guy's name. Anyways, that's not what this is about. <laughs> Today we are doing a movie review of our second Assamese film. Oh, I thought it was their second film. I was like, wow, I had a dream we saw a lot more than two films. Does every time you say Assamese, do you think Assamese, any Assamese, any any? I don't know. No. no. It's just it's exactly what I think of. Yeah, that's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, but we reviewed uh, Village Rockstars because that was highly, 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 highly requested. Highly, highly, highly requested. Um, I know. Last time we did um, the uh, Amis. Amis, Amis, Amis yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, but this is directed, <laughs> written, produced, yeah. cinematographered, costumed, edited, uh, production designed. Uh, and probably acted. Oh, I know her family was in it. it. Did you see all of the DOS names in the credits? It's all her family. I was, I was like, this is just the family got together and made a movie. Which is fantastic crazy. <laughs> and crazy. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so Village Rock Stars, if you haven't seen it, it's 127 minutes. That's like nothing. Yeah. Just go watch it. Yes. Even if you don't enjoy it, it's 127 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Go watch it. Go watch it. Anyways, 100% uh, spoiler review, just because that's how we like to do things. Yeah. Um, but we like to spoil you. Rick, initial thoughts. We got a paragraph. Mm. Hey, isn't that exciting? It's exciting stuff. A Florida Project-esque... Exactly what I thought of. ...coming of age story yep. that allows itself to do what too many films don't know how to do, and that is to simply just be. Mm -hmm. A slice of life you're meant to take little slow bites out of and enjoy. 100%. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it, it, it was one of those things you just, you're just, you're just watching this little girl. It's felt, it's almost like a documentary, yeah. right? It feels yeah. It was very documentary. Very and, documentary. And I did hear that it was basically two people. I think she had a sound person and her holding the camera. Wow. Wow. That was all that was there. Wow. <laughs> if that's true, that's really, really impressive. Which is insane. Yeah. To make a film this way is impossible. Yeah. Especially this well. This well. This good. Like when I saw the credits rolling up and I saw, I mean, I knew the writing and the directing and all of that, but then literally like costuming and then so like 15 different hats being worn just by Rima, right? Is that how you pronounce it? Rima. Rima. R-I-M-A, right? Just by Rima. But then... 75% of the rest of the crew credits are same last name. Yeah. Das. So yeah, it was just a straight up family affair, but for such minimal amount of crew... Uh, Cinematography was insane. Uh, I mean, it helps, obviously. It's like if you film a, a film in Kar Kerala. Kerala, right. You're gonna... You're gonna it's a beautiful country with beautiful waters, beautiful right. sunsets, but it's like... It, it looks like some of the best cinematography we've seen, and it's probably her holding the camera. Right. <laughs> Just going around, and it was very, and I, you know, I'll probably use this all of the time because it was part of the template and the framework of shaping Indian cinema outside of the Bollywood expression, mm -hmm. and that is, so much of this reminded me of the Hold same on. My dog is barking in my template tennis. as <laughs> Satyajit. <laughs> I really didn't just freeze and say that okay, all. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, very... Because uh, this Satyajit Ray, I will constantly refer to any film that feels very fly on the wall, um, doesn't uh, doesn't really take you through a, def a, a definitive storyline as much as just letting you through an experience and an emotional state. Uh -huh. yeah. um, and very much in the same way, because one of our we refer to this film a lot. Our, one of our favorite films is The Florida Project, uh, and this had that because of the kids, you know, that yeah. focus. On, and I actually, the one thing I would. This is me being my armchair quarterback. I would personally, probably, if I had been asked, call it Village Rockstar Singular. 
because I felt it was far more about her yeah. than it was everybody. Now, I believe this was done. Maybe she was saying just the Village Rock Stars are the entire community. The entire community, and that's clearly the dedication at the beginning of the film, yeah. you know, that this is, this, is, this is my home, these are my people, yeah. so it's for all of them. But from an audience standpoint, I felt it was really, it was just, it was just her story. Well, 100%. And if this girl... Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, she's not an actress. She so was, she's related to, obviously, I'm assuming, uh, Rima. Yeah, because um, it's Bunny the Das. I don't know how. But to get, once they, we've said this in a few things, to get kids to act is not an easy task and to act well. Especially, especially kids who potentially, I'm not saying it's true, who potentially have not been around a camera yeah. and need to be natural around a camera because what happens when anyone's put in front of a camera is they start to not be themselves. Mm -hmm. It's just the natural thing, this mechanism pops up. Mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons actors train is to get rid of that tendency to mm -hmm. suddenly go, there's a camera on me, there's a camera on me. And mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, they did in like, it looked felt like a documentary. It did. Like you were following these kids, and that might be the case. You just got real people, and she was like, "I right, go about your day, do what you're gonna do, right?" Which would be genius to do. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, <laughs> I, was, I was watching, I was like, "She's never acted before. She's not an actress, and she's just <laughs> just just be like even even this the one moment of when they're doing the ceremony for her after she's gotten her period, mm. which was." <laughs> like heartbreaking and like I know like well, so frustrating and <laughs> it, there's, we could talk about that in a second because I have to, I have a there's a couple of messages in this that yeah. for me I had to push and pull on but mm -hmm. there is that moment when they're putting the the forgive me for not knowing what it's properly called but when they're putting the red. the red on her her head and they're pouring water on her it looked the proximity of the shot was super close mm -hmm. and it looked like she had no idea there was a camera there no idea there was a camera there. I wonder how big her camera... It must not have been very big. It must have been a, a small... Um, I don't know what... I would love to know her actual budget mm -hmm. for this. Film. And what, what equipment was used. Would very much love to know that. That would be really interesting to yeah. know if it was done like uh, basically... An, uh, what is it called? Guerrilla filmmaking? Is that what they call Yeah, guerrilla filmmaking. Guerrilla filmmaking is yeah. just you and a camera going around... There's almost no budget, but to do that and make it look as good as it did, because yeah. that takes like color correction and that takes yes. other shit. And I, I'm pretty sure I saw color correction you in did? the credits. Okay, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That is actually one of the most unknown unsung heroes of any video are the color correctors. We are probably really guilty yeah. of, of not giving credit to color correctors, yeah. but on a film like this, you absolutely must because you do recognize the budget was probably non-existent, probably. Mm -hmm. And to make it look that good, you can get away with lighting mistakes with great color correction. Mm hmm So, yeah, a, a good color, I mean, lighting is obviously very, very crucial. important. Crucial. One of the most important things. But if it's blown... Yeah, if it's blown out, um, like color correctors can make something that looks, go from looking like a student film yeah. to going looking professional. Which, for those of you unfamiliar with it, the whole color correction and production design and art design together, we... We often, as an audience, will take for granted. I'm talking about all of us collectively. So you, stupid babies, us. You can watch a film and be done with it, and man, just just carte blanche. Go, man. The production design and art direction were fantastic. Mm -hmm. Forgetting that every single frame of film has a level of color correction to it, so there's a fluidity mm -hmm. to the aesthetic you're getting visually. A template, because just like you have filters, for example, if you do a camera on your phone or you do an Instagram post and you can choose filters. If, if you don't have color correction, it's obvious. It looks like, okay, that was shot on a different camera, that was shot with different lighting in the same room because one scene could have taken all day to film but it's only one minute on camera. Mm -hmm. And the lighting's different and people moved and the shot. So yeah, it yeah. was top notch. That's why this is so, so freaking impressive um, how it did, yeah, and that, that the whole, the whole part with the, when she got her period. Yeah. It was so, when I was like, okay, she's becoming one, obviously, she, it, I, they were telling me you know, how, like, I'm guessing rural villages are when, right. when what they, 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 they said multiple times, you know, don't hang out with boys. 
don't all those different trees. times, yeah, all that kind of uh, <laughs> stuff that we are totally unaccustomed to here in right. America. Um, but unintended, unintended yeah, unaccustomed. Custom, unaccustomed. Thank you very much. And, and obviously, a lot of parts of India are as well. Yeah. That like, if you grew up in Mumbai, it's probably not the, definitely not the same as if you grew up in a small little village like this. Right. But uh, they kept do, throwing in stuff like that, and you just felt so bad for this little girl that just she just wanted to hang out with her friends right. who just happened, happened to be guys. She liked them. She'd rather go play in the mud. Ashley was like that. She'd rather go play in the mud than go have tea. Why are you? Why are you talking like that? Like that? That's why the way she talked. Like <laughs> Ashley, you ready to go play in the mud? <laughs> why is it you turn into an? I don't account? know. Anyways, play in the mud. Um, but yeah, the uh, what was I saying? Mud. Yes. Mud. Um, and then when it got to the part where she got her period. Yeah. Um, and then she was doing all this stuff, and she was, you know, becoming a woman, and she did all this stuff. But you could tell she didn't actually want. To do that, but she then also allowing them to do the, it. Like the the women brought her to a, like what did they say? They said she she's become a woman, or I don't remember what mother. the line was. Yeah, yeah, it's, there was something obviously signifying the fact that she'd started getting her period. Yeah, but they were like dragging her to her, right, and, and stuff like that. It was just so difficult to watch at, at certain times because I'm like, okay, why are you why are you doing all this? And I had, that's where I said I have the push and pull because on the one hand. I do recognize this aspect, which is a whole other thing we could talk about with the film, which is places in the world that weren't deeply touched by the Industrial Revolution and then the Technology Revolution, mm -hmm. but particularly the Industrial Revolution. Places that were hit by that, which were primarily cities, uh, lost much of that tribal culturalism and it became more of a collectivism because of the nature of city life mm -hmm. and industrial living. There's pros and cons to that. Because on the one hand, you can say you got rid of some things that you don't need to be doing because many times it falls into the realm of something superstitious and empty religious activity. Mm -hmm. However, the flip side of that is we miss in cities and we miss in industrial worlds the aspect of rites of passage. Mm -hmm. I'm really big on rites of passage, it, depending on how they're done. Like, I, you know, I, pers I love the idea you of cultures. Circumcised. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I love I love in cultures where they celebrate women having their menstrual cycle and becoming a woman, and mm -hmm. like they're treated uh, with the celebration in the community, mm -hmm. and it's a wonderful thing where the boy has become a man for the you know the, all those rituals where they affirm that because in industrialized city places like here in America. The rites of passage, there are none. It's like, okay, did you lose your virginity and get drunk? Well, and that's, that's, yeah, there's basically 18. You're, right. You can vote. Yep. I guess if that matters if it's an election year. Yeah. And then 21 is probably the biggest. That's the big one. Just yeah. Just because we in America just like to drink. Like to drink. <laughs> but it really is, it's a sad thing because it's, it's, they and both have their pros and cons. Obviously, they both have their pros and cons. In the Jewish community as well, you've got different bar mitzvahs and bar mitzvahs. If you're in the Hispanic community, correct, you, got, you have uh, uh, kings and uh, for, for the women. Yeah, but yeah, there's not not too many. But yeah, so it was, it was very interesting to just watch, and that's all you could do in this film is just watch. Just watch. And they just kind of they let it. Like, you're gonna just watch this. And yeah, you're gonna watch this little girl grow up. Yep, and then find and out I, who she is. And I I loved. And I think it was intentional, which any of the intentionality in this was deeply subtle. It's very possible you could assume an intentionality by the writer director and think to yourself, oh, clearly that's what you were conveying. And I'm like, no, I didn't mean that, but I'm glad that's what you took from it. Mm -hmm. And that would be at the end, even though uh, she had been told, you know, don't play with that and don't do that, I loved how two things, toward the end of the film, she is up in the tree with the guys. <laughs> and she's not getting in trouble for it. Mm -hmm. And there was something, I could even get emotional about it. My Probably one of my favorite moments in the film. Because you're wondering, when it gets to the end, you're like, what about the guitar? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You're thinking, we're not going to leave the guitar alone. There's got to come full circle on the guitar. Mm -hmm. And to see the mom walking back with it, and the smile on the face of knowing she's able to do this, and that's, that's a big deal for her daughter, and then the kids dancing and celebrating. It's just, just there's so much I could say about that. I'm sure you can too. That's probably my favorite moment in the film is that, mm -hmm. that moment of the mom coming back and she has this 
look on her face, it's very clear that for all those other moments and things that she had where she's the very stoic and serious and we gotta survive, the mom uh, was was clearly happy to have achieved what she did for Yeah, I did kid. like the relationship with the mom for the most yeah. part. Uh, at, at the beginning, you thought it was gonna be a little stern, mm -hmm. but then it, 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 it showed that that was just that situation and then she was very loving. She very wanted, loving. She wanted the best. She just didn't have a lot that she could give her. Single mom. Um, and so you, I like, I love that relationship that the mom, even though they were very, very poor, mm -hmm. didn't have a lot of means, she still wanted to get her daughter what she wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it was, yeah. It and, was a beautiful and, relationship. And the, in getting it for her, this is the part that gets me emotional, in getting it for her, she not only was giving her something she wanted, it was continuing to allow, and this is a powerful statement, continuing to allow her daughter to dream, mm -hmm. even though many of her dreams had been killed. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, a lot of parents will tell their kids, don't do that, you're gonna get hurt like I did. Don't dream, it's not practical. So for her, even in the midst of what she's lost, to still let her, it's, it wasn't just I want you to have the guitar, it yeah. is, I want you to dream. Yeah. And that's the and the other thing, speaking of the mom, I found it providentially ironic. We mentioned this just before we started filming, that of the, all the times we watched this, yeah. it happened to fall at the exact same time when we found out about the flooding that's going on in Assam in the northeast right now. And no, we didn't we didn't watch it because of that. No. Was, we had already scheduled to watch this. Yeah. Uh, and it just happened to fall on that, and it actually, in the film, it talks about the flooding. Mm -hmm. Her dad, the husband, the, it drowned. Which apparently happens every year. Every year. Floods, but this, all the time. This time, what, 50, 50 plus people? Last count I heard, it was 50 when I woke up, and now it's 70-something. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, this is a whole other subject, but I find it aberrant, and I, I cannot comprehend why, when I went to the Telegraph, which is a big Indian publication, and I went to the Times of India, uh, it was basically a sub-story. Uh, Kanye West not running for president took higher precedent on In the Indian? Telegraph. Yes. And for the Times of India, they relegated it to the very bottom of the feed and just said photos. They, they, had, they had other superfluous ridiculousness at the top when literally millions of their citizens are in the midst, and granted, it may have a commonality to it, but that's been a repetitive thing. When the uh, cyclone went through Bengal, mm. there was this lack of attention in the media of paying attention and like actually covering just the story. Just because they happen so often? Like, I don't know if that's- because of flooding? And it's, I don't think it's- Because like, obviously, if the city floods, that's a big deal here in America. That's what I said to Indrani, because she, I told her, and she said, I'm finding out that my neighboring brothers and sisters just north of me are having this problem from my American boyfriend in Los Angeles. He found out before I did. I was just watching the news downstairs, and there was nothing on, and got a lot of messages from stupid babies, and it isn't just because it's so frequent, because I said to Indrani, I said, if we, if we had a, a rain or a flood, if, it rains in Seattle all the time. Mm -hmm. If we had a rain that displaced a few million people and killed 70 something people, it would be main news here. And why it's not there mm. is very, very sad. And I, I got messages, because I posted about it on Instagram from, from beautiful stupid babies in Assam and in the Northeast, basically saying, yeah, Rick, uh, we're used to it. We're used to being ignored. Well, not here, guys. That's the that's the northeast, right? Yeah, the northeast. Not not here, guys. We love you. Yeah. You've been on our hearts all day. Um, and give us more information. I would feel really powerless. We wish there was more we could do for you, but know that we're not we're not ignoring it. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah, that's our our review of this film. Yeah, uh, good film. Good film. I uh, would love to watch more from Rima. One hundred percent. I know she's a pretty prominent in the Assamese industry and. Miss Das, if you're watching, we would love to talk with you because we want to. We got a lot of questions about how you made this one film. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but what should be the next uh, Assamese? Uh, is that that's right? That's what yeah, that would be it. Assamese. Are. Assamese film uh, that we should watch down below and other of those regions. I know there's still a few regions that we haven't got to yet. Punjab being one of yeah, them. Yeah, we know. We feel you. I mean, but apparently there's not a ton of great films. There's a few really good films. Yeah. 
uh, that they recommend. But they make up for, for the food and the music. Oh, the Punjabis are my people. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let us know down below.